right now, um, what is um, occupying my my thinking about it is the um, just really an incredibly enhanced valuing of peer to peer interaction mm -hmm. and uh, a really kind of healthy displacement of me as kind of primary pedagogue in a, in a class and that I have carried with me into other teaching settings, right? Like um, really thinking about what people can teach each other and what they can learn from these kinds of peer conversations about writing and um, what I should or shouldn't shoulder responsibility for or, or try to control or not. The, um, the MOOC really, you know, you can't control a MOOC. <laughs> so um, that was hard at first because I am used to feeling not controlling but accountable in some way for the way that my classroom functions, you know, and then what happens to the learning experiences. And that's not possible in a MOOC and for good reason too. Like people, I have a set of learning objectives for the MOOC, but different learners might be enrolling for very different reasons. The learners in the course, they're not traditional um, learners that enter my classroom necessarily. Most already had bachelor's or master's degrees. Most were professionals. And so okay. it could be that the, the, the level of um, facilitation that's needed in a first year writing classroom with a traditional cohort of students who don't yet have bachelor's degrees, right? That's one set of feedback where the teacher's role and feedback really does need to need to be more, um, you know, obviously we have more expertise and we need to, we need to help them develop that expertise. But in, in the MOOC, um, there were a lot of learners who were quite, quite already equipped to give feedback. And yet, um, some people weren't. Well, they just didn't seem like students to me, so <laughs> in fact they weren't, you know, um, they were, because student sort of implies the corollary teacher. First of all, I didn't feel like a teacher. I felt like um, someone who was new to, like, you know, instructional technology and suddenly being out there in the public with, a, you know, this thing, and that was weird. And then I felt um, also, like, in terms of my teacherly role of, of being, you know, more present, I wasn't more present. Um, so, so I didn't feel like they were a teacher in the same way, so I couldn't have them be students. But then also they were literally teachers in the, in the mm -hmm. um, you know, who enrolled. And, and I think um, Cindy Self and Kay um, Halasek used the word writer, which I love that too. But, um, you know, so I, they're not students. I, I feel like they are learners as I am a learner too, and I was enrolled in the course too.